Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. In this video we'll try to edit video on Linux Index. From a quick five minute session inside the Google I found out that the most popular and one of the best ones for Linux is KDEN Live Video Editor. Sadly this video editor just don't want to be installed inside Linux Index. I tried a couple of times and with my poor knowledge of Linux, I just can't work it out exactly what's causing it and why it just cannot be installed on Linux on Dex. If you are the tech savvy of Linux, please let me know in the comment section below why you think this is happening. If you found a solution, <coughs> excuse me, let me know and uh, I will try to do another video about video editing on Linux on Dex. So we cannot use uh, KDEN Live in this video. So what we're going to do, we're going to use OpenShot video editing program for Linux. So that's all I need to do is right click, mark as installed, it's asking me to install all these dependencies and all these libraries and etc. I'm going to say mark all of them, apply, and it's going to be totally of 155 megabytes has been downloaded, extra space will be used, that's fine, click apply, and now let's see how the installation happening. At this rate, I would say it's going to be installed quite quickly. I have another six seconds or so to wait. So let's wait for this to be installed and we're going to try to edit some videos. Okay, let's have a look in details. Just why not? Just have a look if any errors pops up or anything. Okay, installation so far is going very well. Okay, come on, come on, get installed. I'm a bit disappointed that KDEN Live don't want to work on, on Linux on Dex. Um, from the screenshots I found online, that software is very promising and looks amazing to use and quite simple to use as well. But we're going to use OpenShot. OpenShot um, video editing software on my Linux on Dex. So far everything goes very well. And last last couple of steps left to do here we go everything installed so let's close it close again okay it's updating that's fine close that and under applications video i should find open short video editor so fingers crossed this is gonna work okay so we have open short video editor working on linux and dex so it opens up so let's do some editing before recording this video i done a quick video with my just one of these point-and-shoot uh, small cameras I own a Samsung MV 800 with a flip screen so I use one of those to record a quick video so let's use this this is the video that I recorded so let's put that in the timeline and see if it plays back Anyway, this is open shot video editing software on Linux on Dex. Let's test. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if that's Linux on Dex fault. Is it open shot? But you probably notice as well the audio and video slightly out of sync. Um, let's see if we can fix it because I recorded a screen recording session using the screen recorder or um, screen recording software on my Dex to record a voiceover. So if I turn this off and if I'll we'll bring that all the way to the front, let's see how that goes. That was loud. Anyway, this is open shot video editing software on Linux on Dex. Let's test. Okay, uh, this is much better because I, I recorded um, audio using Snowball Yeti connected to my um, to my decks. Right now I'm using arrows just to go back to exactly the place where I stop, stopped yapping. Okay, test. That will do. So, so far what I learned, a couple of um, shortcut keys on the keyboard, obviously arrows left and right. Uh, you skim through the timeline to the left and right uh, then you select the track I think it doesn't matter which one you select if you press C it should make a cut 
exactly in that location on both of the tracks. So now you can right click on them and say remove, right click on them and say remove. So right now if I go back, I should have a proper, let's do another cut. Okay, uh, my face looks very excited. Okay, let's press C again. Let's do a cut here. So remove this and then remove that. And now I can move that to a front and not move that to a front. And now if I go back and play again. <laughs> What's loud? Anyway, this is open shot video editing software on Linux on Dex. What the hell happened to my voice? <laughs> let's try again. That was loud. Anyway, this is open shot video editing software on Linux on Dex. Okay, this is not great. Uh, my voice <laughs> changed. Anyway, let's go to preferences, see what's there. Uh, okay, uh, profiles. So obviously export profiles, you can change them here. Auto save if you wanna auto save it. Okay, um, output SDL preview. Let's change that. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure what I'm changing. That was loud. Anyway, this is open shot video editing software on Linux on Dex. Let's test. Okay, that's uh, not great. So if I go back, go back and retrieve the cutted scenes are in, let's see what's gonna happen now. So, okay, I move the camera around and... That was loud. Anyway, this is open shot video. Something happened to my voice during the edit. Anyway, that's fine. Let's delete them again and let's see what the out output file will be. So pretty much that's it. That's that's what I have. You can obviously add the uh, markers and then jump to a markers to the left and right. You can cut it. Resize tool. If I want to expand, let's say an image, uh, obviously mouse pointer and plus you can add another timeline if you would like to add another timeline. So remove the track. Okay, so we're back to this. Transitions, as you expect, there is a lot of transitions here and effects inside there. I think that's an effect, uh, video effects and audio effects if you would need like an echo, bass, balance, etc. I never, I've not really played with them so far, so I can't really give you a proper demo. But anyway, I have the, let's say, a video edited and there's a red button here, which allows you to export. But just before that, if I click, for example, save project, you can name a project as what you want and you can save it anywhere or you can save it inside the Linux on Dex share folder and it's going to save inside Linux on Dex share folder but you're not going to be able to access it because inside Linux on Dex share folder there is another two folders which is representing external storage which is my BXT card or in my case three terabytes hard drive connected but if I choose internal I can in, in, save it inside internal and that means I will be able to access this file on my phone on the go. So I'm gonna say yes, internal it is, video edit, uh, default project and project profile. Let's do HD at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Let's save this profile. There's already the profile, yeah, that's fine. It's probably I was messing around and I already had the profile saved with the same file name. Anyway, let's click red button and export it. While I was messing with this, if you go to advanced, there's a lot of options for your video and audio codec files to choose from. And I mean, there's a lot of them for video and audio. And from me just trying random some of them, I was ending up having no audio but video, and I was having no video but with audio. So under simple, if I you choose all the formats, I will choose 264, 1080p, okay, quality obviously high, and I would like to export this inside internal storage. Okay, uh, inside internal storage, open up. So internal storage default, <clears throat> and let's say uh, my voice. Okay, export to this folder, and I click export, and the file right now is being exported into Linux on Dex shared folder. So right now it's exporting, all fine. Let's give a second or so for this to finish and see is it end result distorts my, my voice office is it still uh sounds funny shall we so let's come on come on 
Okay, uh, message pops up, but I, 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 there is already a basic means that export is finished, but I'd rather wait for a text to appear inside this message. So here we are, it says export finished. So I can close this app and let's go to Linux and Dex. Uh, to Dex. Let's go to the file manager, Linux and Dex shared, and my voice. So let's try to play this. That was loud. Anyway, this is OpenShot video editing software on Linux on Dex. Let's test. To be honest, that actually <laughs> looks quite well. Um, I'm previously well my videos that I record on Dex. I usually edit them on the Power Director or KineMaster. I tried Adobe Rush, but paying eight pounds a month or so for Adobe Rush, I don't really. Um, find any reason to basically um, promote that idea that I need to pay eight pounds a month for video editing. So I use mo most of the time I use PowerDirector. Sometimes I use SkyMaster. But now with this, you, I can screen record everything, record everything on this MV800 camera, put everything in Linux and Dex, let's see screen recording program in here or somewhere in this folder, go straight away to Linux and Dex open up the video editing software open shot video editor and edit my videos for you guys so i hope this video helps thank you much for watching let me know in the comment section below like i mentioned in the beginning of this video if you know why k den live don't want to install on linux and text and if you have any suggestions or apps or software that you like me to try on linux and text please let me know and i'll see you in the next video thank you and goodbye